Welcome to the future. This here is Snow, the newest robot servant that literally is on the market at this moment. Now, this robot costs a little over $8,000, which is probably the most expensive robot we've seen yet, but it does offer a lot in which this here is a kiosk robot. Now, you're probably wondering, what can it do? Well, the question is, what can it not do? Literally, you can go ahead and program this based on anything from a business, to babysitting, to even watching your parents. It's literally one of the exciting robots of its time. Now, this was sent over by Mike's Robot Lab. So if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out his link down below in the description for your very own. Now, in this episode here, we'll be taking a quicker look at Snow as well as all the different functionalities in terms of the setup and in terms of what it can do in terms of capabilities. As this robot has slam functionality, among other variations, including built-in Android screen allowing you to go ahead and program it based on any kind of event that you're attending. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and see what this robot's about. So for starting, you can actually see the screen, it has almost like a sphere aspect to it. It's actually got a built-in projector on the back side of it, portraying different emotions on the front. Now, you can always go ahead and customize this based on your own liking, uh, as well as any different animations as well. Now you'll also notice that there's two different servos uh, for the arms from the left to the right with built-in LEDs on the bottom, giving a nice luminous glow, which you can also see on the bottom as well with uh, LEDs going around as a ring. Now this here is the main hub, uh, or more or less the brains of the operation. So you can actually see what's going on on the left here. So as Snow is listening to me, it'll go ahead and communicate or respond back based on those uh, notifications. And then over here on the right, you can actually go ahead and scroll through here and use all the different functionality, uh, such as fun here. You can go ahead and have the robot dance, tell a story, sing. Uh, and then you can always go ahead and create your own different functions, including like this one here for the Kansas City trip. You can actually go ahead and create different menus, different settings, and different uh, operations based on that. All right, so on top of that, we can also have the robot move based on the direction you want. So we can have the robot move forward. You can have it move it back. And then we can have it rotate as well, both right and left. And you can hear that it's actually very, very quiet. So the servos are really, really nice. Uh, now it uses based on two different wheels. So it gives you that omnidirectional feel. Uh, and the robot will actually go ahead and react based on whoever it sees. So right now it's actually, <laughs> looks like it's happy to see me. And even on the screen here, it says, hi Khan, nice to see you. <laughs> uh, and now if we go ahead and go onto the laptop, we can always go ahead and use the slam function and kind of map out the area just like how we're doing right now and this will allow Snow to see exactly what its surroundings are and build a map as well as boundaries and you can go ahead and govern it in, t in terms of where it can go and where it can't go. All right, so on the front here, we'll see a speaker right over here. It's actually a very nice quality sound speaker. Uh, you have some sonic sensors on the front here, kind of giving it a sense of direction or if there's anything in front of it. Uh, you have the LiDAR sensor on the bottom, knowing in terms of mapping out the, the location, as well as some infrared sensors as well. So it knows in terms of distance or if there's any obstacle avoidance as well. Now on the back, you also have the same amount of different sensors, including the LiDAR. And then if you go ahead and open it up a little bit more, you can actually go ahead and see the inside of it. And from there, you can notice that it does have the Linux capability as well as more functionality in terms of expanding on it, which is actually a great quality feature in a robot of this size. Now, uh, this here is the charger port of it. So the robot has a capability of lining itself up against the wall and allowing to go ahead and charge it on its own. So the robot knows exactly if it needs to be charged or not. Now the robot has dual wheels on the bottom. This allows the robot to go ahead and maneuver itself uh, as well as in terms of functionality. It does have a good amount of speed uh, so you can go ahead and control that all through the laptop or the app as well. All right, and now the robot does have a facial recognition software allowing to recognize users. Uh, so you can go ahead and program yourself. So in this case here, it recognizes me and it'll actually move itself to go ahead and follow your movements as well. You can always use this in terms of businesses so you can keep track of how many customers are coming in or how many uh, similar customers are coming in in terms of uh, tally. So this is always a good idea in terms of making the robot being used as a door greeter as well. And there you guys have it. This here is Snow, <laughs> a very fun interactive robot that 
that looks almost like a penguin, but is actually a lot more cuter. Now, if you guys had any questions about snow, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.